Number two, I want to be able to preheat the engine of the bus. So how, I don't want the bus engine coolant mixing with this stuff. So that's where a plate heat exchanger comes in. Now there's kind of a, it's kind of a black magic to sizing these. You have to figure in your BTU load, your flow rates. So in my opinion, I would just go a little larger than you think you need to make sure that you have the proper size. The way these work is they just transfer heat from one fluid to another and back and forth. So if we, if we plumb the hot fluid from our hydronic system here into this side and flip a switch and turn that pump on and start pumping that heat, hot fluid through this side. And on this side, we have the coolant from the diesel engine on the bus plumbed in with a 12 volt pump as well. We can turn that pump on and start preheating the coolant of the engine. And slowly we will transfer heat from here into the engine block. And if you've ever tried to start a diesel engine in the cold, when they are cold, they're very hard to start. So if you give this system an hour or so to preheat the block and preheat the heads and everything on your engine and get it, get it warm, it will start a lot easier. So that's one thing you can do. Uh, 